Hey y'all, this is Quinn, the Vegan Lion, and welcome to my video, The Vegan Lion Quick Definitions. This video will be a quick five slide presentation breaking down the different levels of veganism, the type of diet that I'm currently following, which is the alkaline based diet, the difference between hybrid and non hybrid fruits and vegetables the definition of organic and conventional foods, as well as understanding genetically modified foods. Did you know that there is different types of vegans? A vegan is a person who does not eat or use animal products, which means they do not consume meat, dairy, or seafood. A raw vegan is a person who follows a plant-based diet and will not eat anything that has been cooked above 105 degrees Fahrenheit. A plant-based vegan is a vegan whose diet is composed of minimally processed vegan foods or not processed at all fruits, veggies, nuts, grains, and ligaments. A vegetarian does not eat meat but does eat dairy and or other animal byproducts. Whenever someone is transitioning to veganism, I always suggest that they become a flexitarian first. A flexitarian is someone who flexes between different diet types, which means they may eat meat on certain days, but choose to practice being a vegan on other days until they fully make the transition into being the vegan type of their choice. In order to understand what an alkaline-based diet is, you first have to be familiar with the pH scale. The pH scale is the scale that is used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. All foods and things that we drink are either acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Acidic foods or beverages fall on the scale between three and six. Neutral foods and beverages fall on the scale at seven, and alkaline foods and beverages fall on the scale between eight and 10. An alkaline-based diet is a diet high in alkaline foods and low in acidic foods to improve health. Certain foods can affect the acidity of the body. The human blood is maintained between the pH scale of 7.35 and 7.45. High acidic foods make your blood more acidic. Examples of acidic foods include meat, dairy, and alcohol. Examples of alkaline foods include fruits, nuts, legumes, and veggies. Do you know the difference between hybrid and non-hybrid fruits and vegetables? Hybrid fruits and vegetables are genetically engineered plants that breeders have cross-pollinated to create a new fruit or veggie, which basically means it is an unnatural man-made fruit or vegetable. Hybrid fruits and vegetables have an incomplete molecular structure that can cause mineral deficiency an imbalance in the intestines and are usually acidic. Hybrid foods cannot grow in the wild or reproduce. Examples of non-hybrid plants include seeded fruits and vegetables such as cantaloupes and avocados and cucumbers. Examples of hybrid plants include seedless fruits and vegetables, carrots, spinach, garlic, yellow corn, apricots, and grapefruit. And just for fun, some examples of crossbred animals include cows, pigs, and chickens. When buying fresh produce and other food products, do you buy the organic or non-organic? What's even the difference between the two? Well, organic foods are foods grown naturally without the use of chemical fertilizers. Conventional foods are foods grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides during the growing and harvesting process. 
Conventional foods usually also have a lot of additional preservatives and extra chemicals as well. I would choose the organic foods simply because they are more natural since they are not grown with chemical fertilizers. GMOs or genetically modified foods are foods that have had changes introduced into their DNA using genetic engineering. GMOs can cause genetic defects within the human body, allergic reactions, and antibacterial resistance. GMOs have been banned in countries such as Germany, France, and Italy, but yet in the United States, we have the largest amount of GMO crops. Examples of GMOs include soybeans, corn, wheat, yeast, and rice, which are all huge cash crops in the United States. Thanks for watching my YouTube presentation. I hope it was helpful in understanding some vegan and food definitions. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Vegan Lion. Until next time, I wish you great health and happiness.